The Traxxas Max offers more power than ever before into a one-tenth scale monster truck platform. To take things up another level, the Traxxas Wide Max kit extends the truck width by 20 millimeters per side, allowing you to bury the throttle in the turns and soak up even more extreme terrain. The Wide Max kit consists of extended versions of the Max's Extreme Duty Cold Weather Suspension Arms, available in six total colors, to allow you to customize your truck to your style. Additionally, new springs are included for the rear of the truck to dial in the suspension settings while the original rear springs move to the front for optimum balance and performance. Finally, a set of wider tow links for the front finish out the new widened stance. For installation, we will just need 2mm and 2.5mm hex tools and an 8mm nut driver. Begin by removing the wheels using an 8mm nut driver or the wrench supplied with your Max. Remove the screw pins to release the front steering hub and rear axle carrier. Also remove the button head screw that secures the tow link to the steering block. Remove the caster block steering block assembly and rear axle carrier. The female halves of the drive shafts will come out with them. The bumpers and skid plates must be removed to access the lower suspension arms. Remove the button head screws. Next, turn the chassis over and remove the countersunk screws from the front and rear skid plates. Flex the bumper and skid plate up and pull it away from the chassis. The wheelie bar will come off with the rear skid plate. We will go ahead and disconnect the bottoms of the shocks. It's not necessary to completely remove the shocks. Remove the button head screw and slide the tie bar mount and the metal tie bar off of the suspension pins. Remove the lower suspension arms and pins. Next, remove the screw pins and upper arms. The screw pins and suspension pins will be reused for the wide max arms. Reverse the disassembly steps to install the wide max arms. The lower arms are labeled to help with proper installation. The upper arms are all identical. Just flip them over for the proper orientation. The tie bars are labeled for the front and rear. Here are the arms in their correct orientations. Remove the springs from the shocks. A screw secures each spring perch. Remove the screw, then push up on the perch and slide it off the shaft to remove the spring. We will move the rear springs to the front shocks and install the included stiffer springs from the kit on the rear shocks. The original front springs will not be used with the Widemax kit. With the new arms in place, you can now reinstall the steering block and caster block and rear axle carriers. The caster blocks and axle carriers are labeled R and L to indicate right and left, and the drive shaft halves are keyed to maintain correct universal joint alignment. There are marks in the shafts to show correct alignment, but you can just rotate the female half until it slides over the male half. The shafts only fit together when properly aligned. Reinstall the screw pins to secure the caster blocks and rear axle carriers. Reattach the bottoms of the shocks on the suspension arms. Next, reinstall the front and rear skid plates. Replace the stock tow links with the Widemax kit's longer links. Remove the button head screw that secures the tow link and install the new link. Note that the tow links have a different type of hollow ball in each end. The end with the taller, hourglass-shaped hollow ball connects to the bell crank toward the center of the truck. With the tow links attached, just reinstall the wheels and the Widemax suspension kit installation is complete.
Now that your Max is 40 millimeters wider, you'll experience even greater stability and high-speed cornering grip. To learn more about the Max and the Wide Max kit, visit us at Traxxas.com.